I want to talk about two images today that are in my Zenfolio gallery. Why? I like to give you behind the scenes information on the images that have the most meaning to me. The ones that were tough to get, but when I was finally out there at that right moment, I was pleased with the result. It's rare that I'm pleased with one of my images. I find that the more work I put into getting to that remote location, patiently waiting for the right light and living to tell the story about it, the more pride I take in the final result. Over Photoshop photos are a dime a dozen, and I found that the work that I most like to share with you isn't necessarily a crazy overprocessed sunset that jumps off the page. Most often, it's when I can look at the photo and recount the experience. That's when I'm content with my work and willing to share it in my small online gallery. Now, I will say one other thing. I do have the prints that I'm talking about today available in my Zenfolio gallery as 20 inch by 30 inch standouts. What's a standout? It's like this. It easily hangs on your wall and has a very modern look. I like these a lot because there's no expensive framing required and the focus is on the image, not the choice of frame and matting. Okay, let's get on with it. The first one I want to talk about is this image of the San Francisco Peaks in Flagstaff, Arizona. The location of the photographer, me, is actually just south of Slate Mountain, which is north of these great peaks. In fact, I recently went back to the location of the shoot. It's off the beaten path, so bring your Jeep and a sense of adventure. Let's check it out. I don't know if you can see this. Well, yeah, you can. There's like not a whole lot around other than, you know, the mountains. And, you know, this isn't probably what people <laughs> also think of when they think of the desert. <laughs> and we are in the high desert. Um, there is some pine forest around, but it's, it's a lot of, a lot of yellow, barren, <laughs> sort of little plants sticking up out of the ground. And then these huge majestic mountains that, you know, are snow capped because Humphreys Peak is well above 10,000 feet. You can get some great photos of the mountains as you climb them, which is normally what I do, but sometimes I just like that majestic mountain landscape photo. And to get that, you gotta get up pretty early in the morning or, uh, or get here around sunset to get that, you know, well, for the golden hour, I guess. Sometimes, you know, just during the day is fun. It's always good to get up, you know, early in the morning and get out here for sunrise. It's, you know, a lot of times pretty cold <laughs> because I believe right now I'm at about 8,000 feet. So it can get pretty cold here. I'm, I'm freezing right now. I'm double gloved. I have my, you know, ear warmer on. I have several, <laughs> several jackets on and it's like 8.15 in the morning when I started hiking earlier today at about 5.30, it was, I think, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's March, so it gets pretty cold here in the, in the winter months, but it's gorgeous. When you take photos of mountains, a lot of times you're concerned with the contrast in the mountain itself and the, the, um, the shadows and the light and how the light is, is hitting different, different parts of the mountain. And you can come out here a whole slew of different times and get a different photo every single time. So that's what I've done. <laughs> I've been out here so many times and you know, I'm always looking for something new, but I always come back to some of my old favorites. And this is definitely one of them. This area has several peaks to climb. And uh, Humphreys, I've not actually hiked Humphreys. That will be on my list maybe for this summer. When most people think about Arizona, they think of hot weather. Those peaks are actually well over 10,000 feet and it can be well below freezing up there. Whether it's a hot summer in Phoenix or the frozen cold winter in Flagstaff or at the Grand Canyon, Arizona's extreme temperatures and drastically different elevations will test your equipment, your skill, and sometimes your will. This next photo is a little less extreme, but a warmer view of Northern Arizona, still in the Flagstaff area, but southeast of the San Francisco peaks at a true local Flagstaff landmark, Buffalo Park. Here's a quick on the scene overview of the park and the location of the shot. Buffalo Park is one of my favorite places in Flagstaff to go because it is inside of town and it serves multiple purposes for me. I can come here and run along the trail that they have, and there's several trails, uh, including it links to the Arizona Trail, which is always kind of fun. And then it also is a great place to take pictures just to walk around and there's mountains, there's always wildlife. If you come here at sunrise or at sunset, you are guaranteed to see some deer um, and maybe some other little critters. And 
speaking of sunrise and sunset, you can get some absolutely fantastic sunrise and sunset photos here if you're willing to brave the elements. <laughs> the, uh, the temperature can drop pretty low overnight, so sun's, sunrise is always pretty cold, but um, sunset can get a little chilly as well. This shot in Buffalo Park is a reminder that you don't need to go to the ends of the earth to get something that really shows what Mother Nature can offer. Sometimes it's under your nose, but when you want the good light, you often have to get up pretty early in the morning. For this particular shot, within 10 minutes of capturing it, I was back in my car, ripping my gloves and jacket off so that I could throw myself at the heat vents. At 7,000 feet elevation in January, even in Arizona, it will be well below freezing. After this excursion, I was drinking hot chocolate and using the heat from my laptop to warm my hands back up. Hey, I'd love for each of you to have some of my work up on your walls, and there's a link in the description of this video that takes you right to these images, and there are a few other image sets there as well. These are images I'm most proud of, and if you do like any of them, getting these images up on your walls, it helps support my site and my mission. I also know many of you are either presently exhibiting your own work online, or you're ready to. Check out Zenfolio as a fantastic option for doing that. Oh, and if you do decide to give it a shot, there's a code that will give you 10% off the cost to sign up. They have a fantastic system, and here's a chance to save some money too.